to enable.org presents Mathematical Literacy Finance Expenditure What is an expenditure? All money that, that, is, that is spent is part of your expenses. We can distinguish between many different kinds of expenditures, different types of expenditures. You get fixed, variable and occasional expenditures. A fixed expenditure. A fixed expenditure is an amount of money that you pay on a regular basis, for instance weekly, monthly, quarterly, semi-annually or, or yearly. Uh, quarterly means once every term, semi-annually means every half a year, every six months or yearly. The amount of a fixed expenditure can gradually increase, but it stays more or less the same until something drastically happens. Like, for instance, there's a change in the economy or there's a um, change in the price of electricity or the fuel price or something like that. So fixed expenditure stays the same um, or it changes often change once yearly. Okay, examples of a, fi of a fixed expenditure is rent, insurance, cell phone contracts. Now, the, it's only the contract part that is fixed and not the additional data that you used or SMSs that you've sent or phone calls that you made. Variable expenditure. A variable expenditure is an amount of money that you pay on a regular basis and the amount can drastically differ from payment to payment. So this is an amount that you pay often, once a year, once a, uh, once a month, once a week. Um, but it differs every single time you make the payment. The amount can depend on the amount of the project, product or, or service you have used. For instance, a product that you use, so the more electricity that you use, the more you will pay towards electricity or the more that you use your cell phone the more you have to pay towards cell ex additional cell phone charges on top of your contract okay so the examples are electricity cell phone usage so this is the part that's apart from the, the contract or bank fees the more often that you make use of your bank account for instance cash withdrawals or cash payments the more uh, the larger the expenses are, the more, the higher the variable expenditure is. Occasional expenditure. An occasional expenditure is the amount of money that you pay from time to time. The amount can drastically differ from payment to payment. So sometimes it can be a lot and sometimes it can only be a little. Examples of occasional expenditure is gifts those are nice repairs on your car and your house and your cell phone and your computer well and anything that can be repaired and clothing clothing is an occasional expenditure um, sometimes you for instance only need a shirt to as an addition to your a wardrobe or, or to your uniform or sometimes you need quite a large and expensive piece of clothing different types of expenditure high priority versus low priority a high priority is usually in need something that you need to pay in order to survive so those will be expenses towards food housing education and work so these are things that you need to make a living or to um, improve your standard of living. Uh, expenses towards work can be traveling, uniforms or telecommunications for, for instance a cell phone or a computer that you need for work purposes. A low priority expenditure is usually a want. These are things that you pay to make your life enjoyable. So it makes your life nice to to be in but it is not essential so those will be expenses towards entertainment it would be television eating out telecommunication like a cell phone or your computer but this is for 
uh, entertainment purposes and not for work purposes. And then traveling for enjoyment. So this is traveling for work and this is traveling for enjoyment. So you go away for the weekend, you take a, a train trip somewhere nice, you uh, drive with your car towards the nearest beach to hang out for the day, etc. Okay, so the difference between high priority expenditures and low priority expenditures. Okay, now you have a bit of homework this afternoon. Please do exercise A and B of this week's handout before you do tomorrow's lesson. Remember, if you um, just look at the lesson and you haven't done the exercise, you're actually only wasting your time. Um, so good luck with that. Thank you very much.